Hello student, this is Ambrose, your chemistry master. So in this session, we are going to learn refining process. So you are going to learn refining process. First, let me explain what is mean by refining. Generally, the metal extracted from its ore contain some impurities like unreacted impurities, other metals and non-metals. Generally, metal extracted from its ore contains some impurities like unreacted impurities, other metals and non-metal impurities. The removal of such impurities associated with the isolated crude metal is called refining process. So what is refining process? The removal of impurities like unreacted impurities, other metals, non-metal impurities associated with the isolated crude metal is called refining process. Then types of refining process, so distillation, liquidation, electrolytic refining, zone refining, vapor phase method. In vapor phase method, there are two types, one is Mon process, another one is Van Arkel method. The types of refining process, distillation, liquidation, electrolytic refining, zone refining, vapor phase method and in this vapor phase method, we have two types, one is Mon process, another one is Van Arkel method. First, let us learn, in this session, you are going to learn distillation, liquidation and electrolytic refining process. So only three refining process. So I am going to explain in this session. So let us learn these three refining process one by one. First, so I am going to explain distillation. So this method is employed for low boiling volatile metals such as zinc and mercury. So this method is employed for low boiling volatile met metals like zinc and mercury. Zinc is having the boiling point 1180 Kelvin while mercury is having 630 Kelvin. This method, in this method, the pure metal is heated to operate the vapors and the vapors are condensed to get pure metal. So in this method, the pure metal is heated to evaporate and the vapors are condensed to get pure metals. Now I am going to explain the second refining process, liquidation. This liquidation process employed to remove the impurities with high melting points from metals having low melting point. Listen here. So this method is employed to remove the impurities with high melting point from metals having low melting point. Here listen, impurities will have high melting point while your metal will have low melting point that can be easily removed. So what are the metals that have low melting point? Tin which is having melting point 904 Kelvin and lead 
which is having melting point 600 kelvin mercury which has melting point 234 kelvin and bismuth 545 kelvin so these metals are separated from their impurities with high melting point by this liquidation process so in this method so look at the diagram for your better understanding so look at the diagram for your better understanding so in this method the crude metal is heated to form fusible liquid the pure metal is so crude metal is the crude metal is heated to form fusible liquid and allowed to flow on the sloping surface and allowed to flow on the sloping surface usually the impure metal is impure metal is placed on a sloping head impure metal is placed on the sloping head on a reverberatory furnace it is heated just above the melting point of the metal in the absence of air after keeping the crude metal on the sloping head is it it is heated just above the melting point of the metal in the absence of air so during this the molten pure metal the molten pure metal will flow down and the impurities are left behind the impurities are left behind is it clear can you understand what i say so what happens to the molten metal this molten pure metal is collected separately and then they are solidified solidified means converting into solid so molten stage is converted into solid state then next you are going to learn electrolytic refining process so we are going to learn now a general refining process by electrolytic method is it clear the crude metal is refined by electrolysis the crude metal is refined by electrolysis and that electrolysis is carried out in an electrolytic cell the crude metal is refined by electrolysis that electrolysis process is carried out in electrolytic cell so if you are considering an electrolytic cell the electrolytic cell will contain an anode and cathode and also electrolytes so electrolytic cell is a combination of anode cathode and electrolyte and what we take in anode and what we take in cathode so that i have given so look at here so in the electrolytic cell the impure metal rod the impure metal rod that is you are going to purify the metal that are purified the metal that has to purify is taken at the anode in the form of rod okay so impure metal rods taken in the anode if you look at the diagram you will understand so this is the anode so here we take impure metal and in the cathode we take pure metal strip the cathode we take pure metal strip and the electrolyte solution we take here is aqueous solution of salt of metal of interest we need to take aqueous solution of salt of metal of interest see here look at the diagram here the electrolyte here taken is aqueous solution of copper sulfate aqueous solution of copper sulfate is taken here 
likewise if you want to purify a silver you need to take aqueous solution of silver salt solution if you want to purify uh, uh, any other metal you need to take their metal salt in the form of solution okay so anode we take impure metal and in the cathode we take pure metal strips an aqueous solution of salts of metal in, metal of interest is taken as electrolyte so what is happening during this pro, during electrolysis process the metal of interest while passing current listen while passing current through this electrolyte solution using electrodes the metal of interest dissolves from the anode the metal of interest dissolves from the anode and passes into solution so from anode the metal will dissolve and passes into the solution while the same amount of metal ion from the solution deposited at the cathode the same amount of metal ion from the solution will go and deposit at the cathode the impurities if it is there in the anode that will be electro positive impurities so the electro positive impurities present at the anode settle down at the bottom and are removed as anode mud the impurities which are electro positive impurities which settle down at the bottom as anode mud and also it is removed as anode mud is it clear let me explain again so in the anode we are taking impure metal and in the cathode we are taking thin pure metal electrolyte the salts of metal of salt solution of metal of our interest so what are, what is happening here the pure metal from the anode dissolve in water pure metal from the anode dissolve in the electrolytes and the same amount of metal ion will go and deposit on the cathode and the impurities are settling down at the bottom which are electro positive impurities and they are known as anode mud see listen this is very important question you may be asked in your examination what is anode mud so how to answer for this question the electro positive impurities which are settling down at the bottom during electrolysis process or known as anode mud let me explain again the electro positive impurities which are settling at the bottom of electrolytic cell during electrolysis is called as anode mud then i am going to explain the electrolytic refining of silver so for electrolytic refining of silver so we take impure silver rod as anode and thin pure silver as cathode acidified aqueous solution of silver nitrate is taken as electrolytes so during this process when we pass current through the electrodes into the electrolyte solution at the anode the silver salt or silver metal will lose its ele one electron and thereby it becomes ag plus and at the cathode that ag plus will gain an electron and become ag so this is similar to the process which i explain in the general case in the previous uh, in the previous uh, electrolytic refining process is an so the anode is containing your pure silver 
mixed with the impurities right so when you pass current the pure silver will dissolve in electrolyte solution yes or no so what is happening here the pure silver salt or sil pure silver solid is converted into silver metal ion it is converted into silver metal ion that silver metal ion will gain the electron one electron and it will deposit at the cathode understood at anode silver atoms lose electrons and enter the solution that i said earlier the positively charged silver cation migrates to the cathode and get discharged by the gain of electrons and deposited at the cathode so in this session you have learnt about the refining process distillation liquidation electrolytic refining if you like this video write your comment and subscribe and share to your friends and relatives thank you